So we are going to start off by installing our React Native application. Then we can now install the Wix uh, React Native navigation itself. So the first thing is to open my commander. I already have my commander open. Then I can change the app name to what I want to use. If you can understand here, yeah, I'm using version 6.1. So I'm just going to change this to Bitcoin app. So I'm going to allow this to finish. Once it's done, then we can continue. So right now we are done installing our React Native application. There are some couple dependencies that we are going to be making use of. That is the first one, Wix navigation. So we are going to head over to the official documentation of their website. Uh, this is also the video that I made over here. If you are not familiar with the React Native Wix navigation, you can come and watch these videos to have yourself educated on that. But now we can head over to the documentation and we can do exactly what they say here. So why we are doing this is because we want to first link well, the React Native Wix navigation so that when we are linking other apps, everything will be linked into it. So that's what we want to do first. So we are still going to allow this to finish the installation, then we can continue. So right now it's done installing, then we can link it. So we just run a React Native link, React Native navigation. So that's exactly what you're going to link, but I think I installed this in the wrong directory. I'm going to switch, uh, sorry guys, let me just switch into the Bitcoin app. So make sure that you install this into your application, not on the outside directory. So let's just give this a couple of seconds. Right now it's done. Then I'm going to link it back. So all you just have to do again is to run the React Native link, React Native navigation. Then just hit your enter. So right now it's done linking. We can clear our console by hitting Control L. The next thing we can do is to copy exactly what you see here and come into your index.js file. So on your commander, you can just type down code. It's going to open your Visual Studio code if you haven't installed on your PC. So let's just put this on the right side. So right now we can go over here and we can clear exactly what you see here. And then we can paste the code. Then we can remove all these plus signs. I'm just going to get rid of this one and get rid of that. So that's how we can use the Wix navigation. So you can watch my videos on my channel to have more ideas on how you can implement a lot of things on it. But on this video, I'm not going to cover that. So the next thing we are going to do is to install, install some couple of dependencies. Uh, I'm going to bring it in. So you just uh, copy this line of code and just paste it here. So I'm just going to make this available on my on the description of the video so that you can have access to this code right here. And if you can observe, we have uh, different versions. We are not using exactly the latest version. So while it's been installing, I can come over to React Native, uh, React Native Reanimated. So you can just come over to the React Native Reanimated documentation and we can follow exactly the steps given here. So once that is installed, uh, that is React Native Reanimated, we can link it. So we just have to grab this line of code because we are going to be applying some cool animations with that. So right now we have everything installed. I'm going to link it just like we did for the Wix navigation. And you can see we have the React Native uh, Reanimated linked. We also have to link the React Native vector icons. I'm going to close the tab because I don't want to delay on my machine. We already have it installed. Okay, I think I didn't install the React Native vector icons. Mm. Actually, we don't really need uh, React Native vector vector icons because we are not uh, using the, the vector SVGs. We are using a normal SVG, just like the one you can see on my screen. So what I just have to do is to clear this, I have to close this tab as well. I link this, I just have to come over to React Native Redux. Uh, it doesn't need linking. Come over to React Native SVG, then we can link that as well. So for us to make use of this React Native SVG, there's something that we need to install. It's called uh, SVG Transformer. So just uh, scroll down. Uh, just scroll down here, you can see it here. We are going to install it as a dev dependency. So I just have to type npm i, you can give it a capital D, then you can hit your enter. 
So we do not link, need to link the transformer. So the thing we need to do now is to add some lines of code to our Metro config. So I'm just going to clear everything here. I'm going to make available this code for you as well on the GitHub repository of this code project. So the last thing we need to do is to link our app to make use of the React Native uh, I think gesture handler, which uh, I think we have installed React Native gesture handler. Just come over to your package of JSON. Let's check. Okay, we have it installed. So right now we need to make use of that. Just come over to Google, search for React Native gesture handler. So guys, I'm following this step because I really want you guys to have this uh, basic knowledge of how to use and how to set up all these things by your own self without uh, much delay. So we can come over here and we have it installed. We also need to link that. Once it's, it's linking, you can now uh, click on the right side here. You can see for the Wix React navigation, we can click on the Wix. You can refresh this page. So on the Wix, we don't need to follow the steps for the normal React Native app. We just need to import this at the top of our index.js. So I'm just going to come over to my index.js over here. which paste that there. And I'm going to wrap my application, sorry, my components, I'm going to wrap it with that helper. So it's called gesture handler component, gesture handler rock. So we have it installed and we have everything working. So right now we don't, we cannot run our application by typing React Native run Android. So let's just give that a couple of seconds and see the outcome on our screen. Right now you can see that our app is being loaded and the Metro config is running properly and our app is being loading. So let's just give it a couple of seconds. So you can see right now we are done with the setup and our application is now running perfectly.